and in the morning. We shall remember them. There was the last post. Then two minutes silence for private reflection. I think of all the people that I served with, and I, particularly my father, he was a Far East prisoner of war, and of all his comrades. 63 years ago, my oldest brother was killed in North Africa, which I'm wearing his medals today. Um, and we were very close. The Bishop of Birmingham was among those who laid wreaths at the memorial. Columns of ex-servicemen and women joined a march around the square. A 13-year-old boy has been questioned about how a seven-year-old girl was injured when a firework was thrown into a crowd. The girl was burnt on the neck and face. She was allowed home from hospital today after surgeons operated to remove part of the firework which was embedded in her neck. She was injured during an organised bonfire night at Tiverdale in the Black Country. The boy has been released on bail while a decision is made whether to prosecute him. A theatre's reopening with a gala performance after undergoing a major refit. Ten million pounds of lottery money has been spent on modernising the Victoria Hall in Stoke-on-Trent. Work included building a glass extension containing bars, restaurants and lifts. The venue officially opens tonight with a concert by the London Symphonia. Well, that's the news. Here's Phil with all the sport action. <laughs>